been really fishing much this fall, so I have most of my fishing gear sort of packed away in these totes. And I'm planning a trip in mid-January, so I thought it was time to get everything out and sort of start putting my box together for my trip. So I kind of thought maybe I'd show you how I organize the fishing gear that I have. So in my first tote, I just have a bag of like bar towels and you always need these. I have some gloves that have some rubber grip on them in case I have a hard to grab fish or something particularly slimy. I have a set of fingerless fleece gloves for if it's cold outside. And then I have my backpack. I usually pack this and take this along with my tackle box. And in here I like to put my Plano boxes and different things like that. I break it down, fits right in there. Then I have this storage container, which is where I keep my soft plastics. And this is all I really have. I have another small bag of soft plastics that I take with me, but this is pretty much my main cache. And I know that it's not that much considering what um, many fisher people have, but considering the fact that I started out with just three bags of worms, this is kind of, um, growing here. I didn't really think I would get into soft plastics, but I keep these organized by like, um, here's some rage tail space monkeys and, um, Z man lizards. And it's a, pretty much my creature baits back here. Um, here's some tubes. I have some swim baits and some crawfish. And then I kind of get into like little minnows and things. And then up in front, I have all my worms. And I uh, have a feeling that by the end of 2015, I'm going to have two of these. So I'm just getting used to the idea that that's just how it's going to be. And then in the other container that sits next to it inside the tote, this is my container of spare crankbaits. And they're all just kind of thrown in there. They're not organized in any specific way. And it's just my spares. Some topwater poppers and some little swim baits here and crankbaits and all kinds of different things. And uh, some Rapalas. So whatever I need to replenish in my main uh, trays, I just kind of pull them right out of here. If I see something cool on sale or something in a store, I get something in one of the subscription tackle boxes, um, I can tend to just throw it in there until I'm ready to use it. So that fits in that tote and that's pretty much the first tote. Now this tote is undoubtedly my most used tote. This is the one that holds all my Plano boxes and I do keep my Plano boxes packed and ready to go. So inside the first two that I have here are just random utility totes. There aren't any dividers and it's pretty convenient to have. And then the other totes, I'll tilt this so you can see, are actually all labeled. So that way I can tell exactly what I need and pull it out without having to search for it. Things like if I want my frogs, here are my top water frogs. I can keep everything in here and they're all cleaned and ready to go after each trip so that way I'm not having rusted things or things that aren't really ready. And I can just grab my container and go. I've got my, uh, what are these? These are the uh, Spit and Waz by River to Sea. These are the River Sea Elites. I have my uh, Copper's Live Target. Here are some Booyahs, um, Snag Proof, and I'm kind of missing one that I have to replenish, but easy, easy, and that's how we like it. Just grab and go. Then I also have these boxes. These are actually some of my favorite Plano boxes. I've done a whole video on this. This is in their guide series, and this is actually a uh, 3600 and they do make this in a 3700 as well and this one right here are my top water lures you can see I actually um, have some that I haven't put away yet but I've got some large ones these are the um, the super spooks I have some uh, spooks juniors I also have some Zara spooks and they go in here but I need to uh, replace them I was putting the hooks on them new hooks and the nice thing about these particular boxes is that was the first tray and then you just open the bottom part for the second tray and you have a whole nether side. This isn't one of those kind where you have to flip it over to get to the back side. So I really like that. Then in here I have two trays of crankbaits. The top tray here has crankbaits and the bottom uh, tray has all my spinner baits. So I can just sort of grab them, throw them in my backpack and then go. I also have, um, this one's labeled bobbers with more bobbers than any one fisherman possibly could use, but that's what I have. 
I have a little container here that just has some, um, this is more top water. These are what I call them my ultralights, my little small mini top water. Then I have my 3500 here. And the 3500, it's again, it's labeled. It's the ultralight crankbaits. Things for like trout or panfish or whatever. These are just my really small guys. So if I'm going to go do that for the day, those will actually fit in the side pockets of my backpack. So this is pretty much um, the Plano box tote. This box here pretty much just has my tackle box in it and my uh, grab and go soft plastics box. And the reason I store these in a tote is because it makes it really easy to stack and everything fits uniformly. So inside, for example, here is my tackle box. I'm going to move that aside. And I can just store that just as it is. I don't really need to put that in something special to store it. But as I said, the reason I do is that I can stack all of those totes up and there's no oddball size thing to um, kind of have to figure out how to get stack in there without falling over or whatever. But this is actually my little tackle box. Um, inside, it's got a pretty large tray. I keep uh, more Plano boxes and these are all labeled as well so I know if I'm needing the bait hooks I can pull out that one if I want worm and finesse hooks I've got my worm and finesse hooks um, my tools uh, drop shots um, here's a little round container that just has some small little jig heads in it so just stuff like that um, actually here's all my jigs so I've got this box where I can just very easily pull out my jigs and they're stored in there. I have a little utility box behind it which has my cut my little nail nail cutters that you would use for line and a little flashlight and stuff like that. Um, here's for uh, wacky rigging your bait. Oh there goes a cat, excuse me. Out of, the, out of the way there. Sinkers, extra line. I've got some um, uh, attractant here. I keep a little fishing essentials uh, first aid kit. Just stuff like that. So that fits right up in there. And on the bottom, surprise, surprise, I have more Plano boxes. So here I have all my, basically my terminal tackle. And again, everything's labeled, pulls out really easily. And I have, you know, the sinkers and some extra different kinds of hooks in here and little uh, duo locks and ball bearing things. And, you know, Carolina uh, rigging items in here, the little glass beads and basically just, you know, standard terminal tackle. And here I have not used these really yet, but I had received these crappy or crappie magnets. Um, so I just threw them in there. I'm wanting to try those out. And then here I have a whole container full of spoons and inline spinners. So keep those in there. A pair of scissors, some uh, odor killer for the hand wash, and then way in the back there, I don't know if you can see, but I have several jars of the, uh, the trout bait here. So it fits right in the back where I keep those things. And if you've ever lifted your tackle box and not had the latch right and had the whole thing fall open, it's miserable. So I just use one of these carabiner, carabiner, whatever you call them, little things in case um, this latch fails or I don't latch it right. Um, it keeps the whole thing from just being a nightmare. And then this is where I have the soft plastics that I'm taking on whatever my current trip is. And ironically, this is how I started out in my world of soft plastics. And I remember telling myself, oh, I'm going to get this little bag and nothing I need will be bigger than that. So I will never need to have any other container for soft plastics. Ha ha ha. So idealistic. And this kind of just folds down. And then in here will be whatever soft plastics I'm planning for that particular trip. And this is kind of a nice bag. I mean, it holds 20 of these soft plastics bags. So you can put 20 different things in here. And that's a pretty good capacity. So 
hopefully I won't be fishing anywhere where I need more than 20 different types of soft plastic, but this right here actually fits right on top of, uh, in my backpack on top of the Plano totes. So it's almost like lunch bag size. So I will put this right on top of four of those large Plano tubs right inside my backpack. And then I have a larger first aid kit and all of these tubes, which I have not yet put into a Plano container. Just tons and tons of these tubes and little miscellaneous uh, panfish um, stuff that I haven't yet tried or sorted out or kind of dealt with. So those loose items are just in that particular tote. So this tote's really just full of some random stuff that I haven't had a chance to sort yet, but pretty soon this is actually going to be full of storage boxes as well. For the moment, what I have in here are just some of my tackle grab and then lucky tackle boxes that I haven't had a chance to put away yet. Oh, I forgot about this soft plastic. Okay, I guess I really do have, have more soft plastics than I thought. Here's a bunch of stuff. I have some Sanko worms. Um, oh, these are cool. I forgot about these too. These are the um, Mighty Bugs by uh, Yum. I have a couple of those. Some Crawdad stuff. Um, here's some Gary Yamamoto Sankos. And then I also have these in some clear bags. These are also the Gary Yamamoto Sankos. But this is what happens when you leave them out and your cat chews through the corner of the bag and you have to repackage them. But I have those. Some flipping craws. Here's a bunch more. Just soft plastics here. Oh, and more soft plastics here. Some craw fatties and different things. Oh, here I have some uh, Lunker Lotion, some Mike's Extra Strength for Bass. So I'm going to put that in my tackle box. But basically just, you know, stuff I haven't had a chance to put away yet. And then I have this cool little sign that my friend purchased for me to hang up where my fishing tackle goes. So, um, but with all this stuff, um, I'm probably going to need to get more of the um, internal storage boxes and fill this one up too. So that's pretty much what I have in this box. So that's pretty much a look at my tackle and how I store it. I don't really know that it's the best way. Um, it's sort of what's working for me right now. Hopefully uh, this time next year we're not going to be looking at eight totes, but you never know. Pretty much that's what I got. Mm -hmm.